Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Olien and we're going to be talking about warp modes in Ableton and more specifically Complex versus Complex Pro and how they differ from one another when pitch shifting. Because that's something that's interesting which you, and you can use this to create many different things so I think it's cool to know about. So the main difference between Complex and Complex Pro is that they handle formats differently. And let me explain real quick what formats are and why they matter. So when you're pitching stuff up and down, you're effectively or usually in most warp modes just really adjusting every single frequency and um, keeping them in the same ratio, but bringing them up by semitone by semitone basically, or bringing them down semitone by semitone. Which means that if you, for example, pitch something down by a whole octave, it's just going to be all those frequencies from the original um, divided in half because frequencies double with every octave. So the thing in real life though is that if a singer, for example, sings a note in a certain octave and then sings a note, the same note one octave below, it won't just be the same frequencies uh, from the higher octave divided in half. There is going to stay, there is like this certain constant in there, which um, is created by the body shape and this kind of stuff of the singer that will create certain clusters in certain frequency areas, which stay the same, even if you sing stuff at different pitches. And these clusters are called formants. Um, so what complex, the idea behind the warp mode complex pro is to kind of play with this idea to um, maintain these formants in order to get a more natural result instead of pitching stuff up and down very extremely um, and maintaining the same ratio as other warp modes do. And we're going to be looking at uh, this uh, thing with the vocal and the sax sound because it's also same similar for instruments, how playing a low note won't have exactly the same uh, the same frequency content just divided by a certain ratio compared to a higher note um, since the body and many parts and like the the size of the instrument stays the same and you just alter kind of kind of alter the size by playing like on a saxophone for example uh, by closing different like tubes or something like this but in general they also have these kind of formants um, yeah so let's actually jump in and get the uh, uh, look at this example. So I have this vocal sample over here. Do you feel what I feel? And if we use the normal complex mode and pitch it down, we will realize that it doesn't sound human anymore. Do you feel what I feel? Same goes for when you pitch it up by a lot. Do you feel what I feel? So complex pro technically wants to um, prevent this and well the reason they sound so weird now is that the formants like it's not natural because in reality something different happens when a singer sings different pitches so complex pro is kind of trying to uh, simulate this and trying to keep things clean doesn't always work but it works very well if you just shift it by like a semitone or two then you can really see that see that it has a positive effect with the extreme stuff um, it doesn't really work but it creates a different sound and that's always cool. Like it's a tool that you can use to do something. So let's listen to it in Complex Pro um, and pitch it up by, pitch it down by one, for example. Do you feel what I feel? This is without change in pitch. Do you feel what I feel? This is with change in pitch. Do you feel what I feel? So it kind of could pass as the same person. So let's check the same thing out in, out in Complex. Do you feel what I Minus one. Do you feel what I feel? Do you feel what? Do you feel what I feel? Do you feel? So the difference is pretty clear here. Complex. Do you feel what I feel? Complex Pro. Do you feel what I feel? Let's do the same thing down two semitones. Do you feel what I feel? Now you already get this deepness, almost as if the body was getting bigger, bigger of the singer. Do you feel what I? Do you feel what I? Do you feel While what here, I? you still maintain kind of the same formants, so it still sounds like the same person. Do you feel what I feel? Do you feel what I feel? But you can tell that it gets kind of dirty and do you feel what I distorted feel? in a way. But what we can do now is decide how much we want to maintain the formants. 
100% might be a bit much, but let's go with like 75. Do you feel what I feel? Do you feel what I feel? Do you feel what I feel? So you can decide Do you feel what I feel? how much you want to try to keep this effect and what sounds clean and what doesn't sound clean. So let's compare complex Do you feel what I feel? to complex pro with zero amount of formants. Do you feel what I feel? Do you feel what I And it sounds very similar at this point. So yeah, that's basically the difference. Let's do the same deal real quick with a saxophone sample. Um in complex, well, as first of all, original. Pitch down in complex by three semitones. Pitched up. Now, complex pro. Sounds the same as complex when there's no pitch adjustment, because it's also basically not being warped right now because I put the same segment BPM as the project, but well, let's listen to down by three in pro. Here, um, the difference is clear to here. When you pitch down, you're kind of maintaining some of this aggressive high end that you have in the original when you pitch down in complex pro. While when you go down in complex, everything gets lower, so you also lose this like in the on top. It becomes even more clear like this. Down by eight. Yeah. So now, I mean, we could do the same deal for like transposing stuff up, but that's kind of boring. I don't want to bore you. You can try this stuff out yourself. But it's cool to know that we can now kind of alter the sound or use this as this forming thing as a sound design tool because those are two really different sounds and we can we can use it to create many different sounds and kind of pick what sounds best um, to us and then yeah make a decision based on that i hope um you got a bit of a better understanding what's the difference between the warp modes complex and complex pro that you liked the video if you did so leave a like and feel free to subscribe i make quite a few videos about ableton here and there because i'm also still getting to know it and i like to share the more the rather interesting things about it which might not be very obvious in well initially or in the manual and this kind of stuff so yeah leave a comment let me know what you think and i hope to see you around for the next videos Peace.